Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So this is Priyanka. So today we will discuss one more interesting topic that number of factors of a number. How to find out that how many numbers are the factors of a given number without even actually calculating them. So let's start with the video. So factor, what is a factor? Factor of a number are defined as the numbers that divide the number exactly. Means the remainder will be zero. For example, we will look at 12. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Right? Remember that number 1 and the number itself are always the factors of a given number. Right, so 12 is having how many factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So there are 6 factors of number 12. Right, so if we are having another number, suppose there is a number 30. We have to find out the number of factors of 30. So first of all the factors of 30. Factors of 30 means the numbers which can completely divide 30 without leaving a remainder. For example, 1 and 30 are the factors of a num given number, right? Next, 2 times 15 is also 30. So 2 and 15 are the factors. Next, 3 times 10 is also 30. So this is the factor of 30. 5 times 6 is 30. So did you find any number which is a factor of 30? Pause the video and think about it. So, there are 8 factors of number 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, we just take time to tell that how many factors will be there because we always think that do we skip any number or there will be any other number which is a factor of a given number. So, let's get find out how to find the numbers of a given number, uh, number of factors of a given number. To find out the number of factors of 36, let's start. First of all, we have to factorize 36. Do the prime factorization of 36. So 2 times 18 is 36. 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 1 is 3. So let's write 36 as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So we can write it like this. So what we have to do to find to count the numbers of a factors of 36, what we have to do, we have to write these factors in the exponential forms. For example, 2 multiplied 2. So 2 is getting multiplied 2 times. So what we can write 2 raised to power 2 multiply. Here again, 3 is getting multiplied 2 times 3 into 3. So we can write it 3 raised to power 2. So here the exponents of these factors are 2 and 2. What we have to do now that is the trick that what you have to do you have to add 1 to these exponents. For example the exponent of 2 is 2 so we add 1 to that times add 1 to this 2 also right so what do we have 3 times 3 which is equal to 9 so 36 will be having 9 factors so let's get started with the factors of 36 first of all the number 1 and the number itself is always the factor of a given number right so we are left with 9 numbers here next 2 times 18 is 36 so 2 and 18 next 3 times 12 is 36 4 times 9 is 36 so how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so one number is missing that is 6 times is 6 which is the ninth factor so how many total number of factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So there are total 9 factors 
of 36. Okay, let's get started with the next example. This is helpful to find out the number of factors of large numbers without actually writing them. So let's start with the number. Let's start with the example that we have to factorize 220. We have to find out the factors, number of factors of 220. So first of all, we have to do the prime factorization. So let's start on the table of 2. 2 times 110 is 220, right? So further, again on the table of 2, 55 times 2 will be 110. Again, on table of 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5. Again, 11 ones are 11. So if we write 220 as the prime factor, it will be 2 times into 2 into 5 into 11. So, which will give us 2 raised to power 2 into 5 into 1. Why we write 2 raised to power 2? As I explained that 2 into 2, 2 is occurring 2 times. So, we can write 2 raised to power 2 in the exponent form. Now, what we have to do, we have to add 1 to the exponent. So, here the exponent of 2 is 2, exponent of 5 is 1 and exponent of 11 is 1. So, what we have to do, we have to add 1 to each exponent and multiply them. For example, 2 plus 1 multiplied 1 plus 1 multiply 1 plus 1, which will give us 2 plus 1, 3 times 2 times 2. So, 3 2 are 6 and 6 2 are 12. So, we are having a 12. So, now there are 12 factors of 220. So, let us write them. 1 and the number itself is always a factor of a number, right? So, next, furthermore, 2 times 110 is 220. So, 2 and 110 is a factor. Next, 4 times 55 gives us 220. So, 4 and 55 is the factor of 220. 5 times 44 gives us 220. So, 5 and 44 are the factors of 220. Next, 10 times 22 gives 220. So, these are the factors of 220. Furthermore, 11 times 20 gives us 220. So, let us let us count the factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, in total, there are 12 factors of 220. So, this is the easiest method to find out the numbers of factor without even calculating them. Now, let us start with another example. You can pause the video and start doing by yourself and then play it again to check your answer. So, let us factorize 220. 25. We have to find the number of factors of 225. So, let us get started. So, on the table of 5, so when we factorize it, 4 5s are 20, 2 carried forward, it will become 25. So, 5 5s are 25. Furthermore, 9 5s are 45, 3 3s are 9, and 3 1s are 3. So, now what we have to do? We have to write it in the exponent form. It will 5 times 5 times 3 times 3. So, we can write it in the exponent form which is 5 raised to power 2 into 3 raised to power 2. So, here the exponents of 5 is 2 and exponent of 3 is 2. So, what we have to do? We have to add 1 to each exponent. 2 plus 1 multiplied 2 plus 1. So, it will become 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. So, there are 9 factors of 225. So, your homework is to find out the factors of 225 and write your answers in the chat box and furthermore if you want me to make video on a specific topic do mention that in this in the comment box and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much and have a good day.